Uh, hello YouTube, back once again with my Stranger Things reviews, and here we are with uh, episode 4, The Body, and this episode was even better than the last one. This was a, this was great, um, as everyone seems to have fully got, a, got on board with the conspiracy and whatever the hell is going on here. So, um, the way this episode starts, uh, I really liked how it started, just seeing uh, Mike just like, look, look, looking like he's trying to hold back tears, looking at the drawings from his friend Will, as Elle's just sitting there, just, um, uh, fumbling with the radio, and he's just like, will you stop that? And then she, he starts getting a message from Will, from, Will's voice starts coming through the receiver, and they're like, how, how was that possible? And just like, and just like, it's Will, he's alive, like, and, uh, so from there, um, there was that, so, uh, yeah, I'm glad it's not, they're not gonna spend, like, three episodes being like, oh, Will's dead, like, he's just dead right now, I'm, probably, I'm really glad that they, um, quickly veered straight into the idea that, uh, that they know something's up with all this, that Will's probably alive, uh, but anyway, uh, but anyway, from that, I really loved all the stuff with the kids this episode. I thought that all of it was great. Uh, first, I just loved just with just the, uh, the, uh, the main kid, Mike, is just, like, is just lying in bed. He's just like, Mom, like, I don't feel good. I don't want to go to school today. And then she's just like, oh, I get it. Like, hey, do you want to, do you want to go? I just loved seeing his mom trying to cheer him up. I thought that was so heartwarming. Just, like, just like, she's just like, Hey, you want to go to the video store? You can pick out anything you want, even an R-rated movie. I thought, I thought that was adorable. Uh, that was so. I really liked all that. Um, what else though? So then from there, uh, the kids realize they probably need a better radio, so they sneak. Uh, they decide to sneak L into the school where their their really advanced radio system is, and. Um, yeah, uh, uh, the really advanced radio system is, and I just like when they're just like, look, look, we, we, we can't take this kid the way she is into school, so we'll realize something's up, and then, so they dress uh, Elle up, I like the fact that they give her a wig also, I just, it, I just thought it was so adorable, Mike's reaction, just, he was just like, wow, you're pretty, I mean, you look pretty, he's just like, you look pretty, N nice. You, you look pretty nice right now. I mean, we did a great job here, right, guys? I, I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> uh, and uh, that, and uh, so they go to the school, and just, my God, I just thought this was such a dark, so many dark, great scenes. Just like, oh, when the, their teacher is just talking to them about how they're going to have an assembly for uh, Will for his passing. Um... I really like the, uh, I just thought it was hilarious, just when he just asked him, like, like, uh, just, when he just asked Elle, I, I didn't realize how funny Elle could be, just when she's, he's just like, uh, like, what's your name, and he's, he, she's like, oh, and they're like, Eleanor, her name is Eleanor, she's my, and they, and he's just like, oh, wh where are you from, Eleanor, and then he, she's just like, bad place, <laughs> that cracked me up, I, I thought that was just hilarious, uh, that, and, uh, so darkly hilarious, I just like, and by, they're just, and then the kids are just like, and by that we mean Switzerland, just awful place to live, cold, miserable, I, that cracked me up, uh, um, but besides that, though, still, uh, that, that when they go to the assembly, I, I, I did think it was very effective, just the assembly, just the, how the fact that this kid was somewhat of an outcast, um, just for the fact, well, like, I didn't grow up in the 80s, I grew, grew up in the 2000s, and, uh, because of that, uh, things, like, things, people being bullied for being, uh, homosexuals were never really a thing, um, but uh, back then, I know it was a very big thing. So I, 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 it was just so satisfying to see that, like that bully, just saying, like, just like, uh, like, just like, who cares? Like your, like, like your friend's dead, but to certain guys, like, dude, seriously, like, who the fuck, like, is like awful enough just to like just start like mocking people after the kids after their friend died like um just when they're and ju uh, it was just great just seeing them just say like just sh they're like just like shut up they're like good buddy and shut up like you jackass and then he's just like just like what like you should be happy like will's like a fairy with all his in fairyland now and so then just, so it was just so satisfying just to see Mike first punch him and then just, uh, the kid about to punch him back but then Elle stopping her, uh, him with his telekinesis and then the kid just pissing his pants in front of everyone. That was, that was great. Uh, I always, uh, I always love when scenes like that happen. Um, 
But anyway, so it's all led to them going back to the, uh, to the radio, using it, and, um, and, uh, it was pretty creepy, the message they got from Will, and then just when the thing just burst into flames, I did not see that coming, uh, so that was pretty creepy and effective, uh, all the other, the other stuff that happened this episode, uh, all the stuff with Nancy was really good this episode, finally got away from her goddamn boyfriend, um, now that, like, it's confirmed that her friend is missing, and, um, uh, and, uh, and, uh, she can't help but notice the picture she got from John, from Jonathan, just, uh, that monster over her, like, just, uh, she goes to Jonathan and just, like, it seems, and they do realize that there is something behind her, something, some monster. I, I really like when she just asks, like, she just says, like, I was in the woods. So I thought that was creepy, effectively creepy scenes when she's in the woods and the, like, uh, the monster, like, starts chasing her through it. Um, but anyway, I did think that was effect really well done, though, when, um, I did really like when he, she's... She just says, like, just, like, I was being chased through the woods by something, like, some, like, man, I don't know if it was a man, and then Jonathan just, uh, remembering what his mother said, like, was it a man with no face? And she's like, how do you know that? I, I thought that was well done. So it seems these two are teaming up for their part of the, for the, inve the conspiracy, uh, investigating the conspiracy, and I'm excited to see that. Um, um, so just anything to get away from Nancy's friends, I'm down for, uh, that, um, what else, though, um, what, uh, yeah, so, yeah, now, so they, then they deal with the picture, and then they realize that, uh, they, that, uh, that, yeah, there's something staying behind her, so, so, yeah, like I said, seems, they, seems they are fully on board on the conspiracy now. Also, uh, the stuff with Manoa Ryder was good. I liked her just saying, like, no, this kid's not dead. Like, I saw a monster climb through the wall and him talking to me, and I did, I did like just how, um, I did like how the sheriff, like, did not just, like, drop right off as crazy. He just said, like, look, I know it's go, it, it's like to go through this, like, it's hard, like, it's hard to accept it, like, I know you're gonna need time to grieve over it, and, uh, and, um, I did like how Noah was just saying, like, you're just batshit crazy lady, you're just, that, like, no, they just, they, they just thought, like, how a good person should think, just, like, uh, she, they're just going through a grieving, bad grieving, so, uh, yeah, uh, still the, uh, still, I just liked just how Noah Ryder, just after a monster climbed through, which is, like, through her wall, she just grabbed an axe and just sat there on her couch. I was like, yeah, that's what I would do in that situation. I thought that was good. Uh, now, finally, the stuff with the sheriff this episode, all of that stuff was amazing this episode. Uh, for At first, he thinks that he, the kid just died, but then, like, when all these, like, facts, things start building up on one another, like, how the coroner, like, he's not allowed to see the body, like, the coroner was not a guy from, um, the re regular morgue, and, um, the uh, the people who dealt with it were like out of state, like the state uh, were uh, out of out of state police, and so then uh, just seeing him then go to the bar and uh, talking to the guy who found the body, which honestly for a thought, I thought for a moment I thought it was a flashback. Uh, just seeing him just like happily drinking and smiling and talking about his daughter. Um, I was like, is this is this when he still had his daughter? Like, uh, is this a flashback? But uh, no, it was just him like using that as. Uh, uh, d d using her as a convincing lie, just like it seems like that actually did happen to his daughter. It, it was sad uh, when they, she, he just, uh, the guy just asked the sheriff, like, what, what, what was your, uh, daughter's, uh, name? And just him seemingly, like, take, having to take a pause for him. I thought that was effectively sad, but, um, anyway, that was great. Just after the guy, just after the sheriff was like, so tell me, what do you really know about what's going on with the bot, that kid's body? And then he's just like, I'm not talking to you. Then just to see cut to outside and just seeing the uh, the sheriff just beating the shit out of uh, out of him for information. That was awesome. I was like, this kid, this sheriff is freaking amazing. But he's basically like, yeah, I was just told to find the body. Like just like those guys. I'm like what guys? Are like the people. Like are they watching us? And like the car. And then just seeing the sheriff just simply pull out his revolver and point it right at the car and drives away. That was also freaking awesome. So uh, I love this sheriff. Let me tell you and. And, uh, this all led to a really effectively creepy and dark ending in which, um, the sheriff, uh, breaks into the morgue and, uh, he get, goes to the body and he pulls out a knife and he actually, and he stabs into the kid's body and, uh, instead of organs or anything like that being in it, there's nothing but stuffing, like, 
white fluff stuffing, white cotton stuffing, and, um, I thought that was a really effectively creepy image, and, uh, so, yeah, but it's nice to know that everyone is pretty much fully aware that this kid's not dead. Um, oh, that's another thing I liked. They did, like, the stuff with Jonathan early on this episode, and he's trying to come with the grips with the fact that his brother's dead and his mother, who knows that something else is going on here, but, uh, it, but he's just like, no, he's dead, and just, uh, him arguing with his mother, I thought was overly effective, um, when he's just like, I'm burying this kid, like, if you don't want to have a funeral, you don't have to, but I am, uh, I thought all oh, that was really good. I do uh, like uh, I I give credit to this cast. This is all these are all incredibly likable characters. Um, I can't think of a character I don't like. Well, for the main characters at least, like I guess the characters like Nancy's boyfriends are uh, Nancy's boyfriend and uh, his her friends are just so horrible. Why? Please tell me they die a slow, horrible death at the end of this season. But uh, anyway, so that was the episode. A uh, really good episode. Uh, it seems everyone full is fully aware that's uh, definitely some batshit crazy stuff is afoot, and uh, yeah, I'm curious to see how the, where the, how that develops. I, I didn't really like the ending of the episode though, just seeing the uh, sheriff uh, drive up to the facility, the re uh, where the L and the monster came from, and uh, just um, just uh, cutting through wires and like breaking into it. I was like, so let's see what he finds in there. Oh, and another quick side note. Uh, the scene where the guy in the facility climbs through what seems to be a portal. We now know what that giant pus wall thing on the stain on the wall is. Uh, it's a seems to be a doorway between one uh, our world and the monster's world. Uh, I gotta say, this guy has a machine gun and he gets ripped to shreds in like five minutes. And that... Uh, that girl, like, Nancy's friend who was, like, eaten, like, one second. My only thought is, a ten-year-old kid has been surviving what's supposed to be a few days now with, in this war, in, like, the monster's world, and is still alive and breathing. So, um, wow. Um, those two should just feel ashamed of themselves for dying that fast. Um... Yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, so, great episode of Stranger Things. Uh, that's, I think the show is just getting better and better. So, uh, YouTube, as always, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.